Hey, something I want to work on today a little bit with you is balance work. So it doesn't take long to improve your balance as long as you give it a little bit of daily practice. Um, the main thing is that you really try your best to balance with a little bit of core and hip control. Sometimes a lot of us can do one leg standing, but we might drop at the hip or we might basically stick our bum out a little bit like that arch or back, stick the tummy out. None of that is much use to you. You want to try and get a good, strong balance on a stable core and hip stability um, sort of uh, scenario. So first thing we're going to go for today is just a little bit of single leg standing. So just stand feet close enough together with your hands on your hips just by your side and see if you can just take one leg off the floor just to start with. You'll be doing this on both sides, but for the moment, just, just try whatever side you want. And once you take one leg off the floor, it's a really good idea to have a mirror in front of you and you'll be able to see if this happens. And if that does happen, try your best to correct it. Try your best to level the hips up. It's a really important factor in balance, for especially for any sports people out there. So once you've got that set up, most runners do this, cyclists do this. So we want to see if we can get that knee up pretty high. It doesn't have to go massively high. Hip height is absolutely fine. But once you're up there, check the mirror again. Has this happened? Has this happened? Do you feel like your tongue is sticking out and the bum is sticking out? You could possibly change all of that just by knowing about it, just by seeing a little bit of visual feedback from a mirror. Once you've got that far, you might take the hands into it a little bit and bring the hands into your yoga terms, heart centre, or just a little central focus point there. Do you feel happy enough with that? Perhaps you might move on to a tree pose position, bringing the foot around the calf, never onto the knee, just onto the calf, and allowing, whoa, allowing this knee to, <laughs> to head off in that direction. So once you've got that steadiness, check your little hip position again. Has it sunk? Has it adapted? Has it moved? You want to try your best to keep that level. Once you've got it level, you can just focus. Breathe. Gently drawing the pubic bone up to the belly button there connects the lowest part of the core. And I mean, if you were doing that on a daily basis, it wouldn't be long getting strong. You can try it on the other side. If you want to try and advance that move a little bit more, you might take the back leg into a bit of a quad stretch. And for a quad stretch, what you really need to be focused on is a little bit more of the side profile rather than the front profile. Front profile, keep your hips level again. Try not to let this happen or either hike up. Give you a version of side profile. Steady up. Once you're at the side profile, you usually have to look out for a bit of enhanced or extra curvature at the lower spine, tummy sticking out, no good. You want to pull that pubic bone up to your belly button, tuck the tailbone down behind you, keep the knees close together, and that's then when you're going to feel your quad stretch on that side. So there's a lot more to it than just grabbing your foot behind you. That's just a little start for how you can start to improve your balance on a daily basis. A couple of minutes each side, deep breath into the belly, and before you know it, your balance will be improving. Do the world good. Give it a try. Let me know who you got.